Hey y'all, it's April and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be watching Abbott Elementary again. Ah! My favorite show on the air right now. As you know from my last Abbott Elementary video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll have it in the eye. I love this show. I really think that there's not another show on the air like it at all right now. And it, I, it's just so needed. It's just so needed. I love it so much. And I'm so excited to watch the season finale with you today. I'm gonna cry. I can't believe it's already like season one's already over but it's renewed for season two they should be filming this summer quinta said that she has plans all the way through season nine so come on now we might have nine years of abbott elementary i mean we don't know but obviously the ratings have been incredible they're breaking all these records it's just they they are on top and i'm loving it i wish i could be a part of the show in even like the smallest little way if i ever get the chance i am taking that opportunity because this show is just so incredible so since our last abbott video we have had two episodes in between the last one we just watched that was right after the hiatus i was expecting more episodes and so the fact that it was just like all of a sudden it's the season finale i was like i wasn't expecting it so this is very like out of the blue i wasn't planning to do this video or anything i was just like okay let's do it i usually save the episode so i can binge them all at once so i'm not like waiting every single week and so just earlier today i watched the two that i had missed i just finished the one where ava went against the superintendent Ooh, that one was some tea like i didn't really think that ava was gonna lose her job just because like come on like you can't write her out she's too good and so i was just interested to see what they did with it i thought that was pretty Pretty interesting definitely a lot of drama greg was talking about his qualifications for being the principal and i was like ooh, like i didn't realize how much he was qualified and like how much he had done before this to get that job just for ava to get it and i do i uh, i feel for him so bad he just got put on as a full-time teacher so i'm happy for him like mr johnson said he's young and he has a lot of time to be promoted and actually be the principal of the school side note again i just love mr johnson like if i ever at the actor on the street i would just be like oh my god it's a Jackson! he's definitely my favorite character but i wanted to bring up that he had a really good quote when he was talking to gregory and i needed that and i just wanted to share that with y'all in case you know you let it slip by or you didn't see it so mr johnson said a dream can be a distraction just as easy as it can be a goal Oof, he hit us with the knowledge like oh my god i really like this quote because i feel like i am in greg's position like i know what i want i know what i'm qualified for and i just want to keep moving forward moving forward and getting my dream like i just want to get my goals right now i don't want to have the patience but mr johnson gave such good advice about you know he had a dream he had somewhere that he wanted to work at but had he just hyper focused on that he would have not seen all these other jobs that came along that he really enjoyed doing he would have never found the joy that he has for them like oh my gosh that is so that's so cool honestly you don't expect this stuff from mr johnson but he always provides that fatherly input and i just i love it if you're in that position like me and greg where you're just like so hyper focused on where you want to go just remember to stop and smell the roses look around see where you're at because one thing that i need to remember is that every point in my life i have reach the goals that I had before. You know, when I was a little kid, I had all these goals for where I wanted to be when I was 20 something. Here I am, I did all of those things, or at least most of them, and that's pretty cool. And I feel like all of you also have that same situation where you're on your way, you're moving, you're ambitious, but you gotta remember the little goals and be happy with the little goals. Anyways, Mr. Johnson hit us with that knowledge, and I just wanted to talk about that while it was on my mind because I just felt like y'all needed to hear that. So hopefully me and Mr. Johnson reached one of you today. So today, I I am drinking uh, an ice cold Sprite as my beverage of choice. Ooh, ooh, just love that sound. I feel like I shouldn't have to say it because I'm just a random girl sitting in her room making videos, but this is clearly not sponsored by Sprite. I just love me a good Sprite though. We were on a dry spell there for a while where I was just, I don't even know what I, I wasn't even talking about, but I was drinking, honestly. That's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know money is tight up in here. Like, but when you see me with a Sprite and it's like a streamline of videos and I got myself a little soda moment, you know your girl's money is on the up and up. So <laughs> I just have to be real with you for a second. Also, I'm really excited for this one because I just saw the thumbnail and the name. They're going to the zoo. Like, I just know shit is going to hit the fan. So here we go. Let's get into this episode. Chad, did you forge your mom's signature? No. It says Chad's mom. <laughs> That's her name? You're staying behind with the rest of the kids who don't have permission slips. Chad. Come on. That's when I watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which is a movie about a depressed kid who murders his father's Ferrari. That is pretty accurate. 
I love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Fun fact, it is one of my favorite movies. Again, I want one of those backpacks. Daughter Taylor. Oh, and Taylor lives in no! New York. Taylor's back. What? <laughs> Taylor has been gone the past two episodes and this is the day they bring her back just in time for me to do a reaction This is it's almost like it's God's plan. He set this up for me I'm sorry I feel so bad when I have like a character that I don't like because I genuinely like <laughs> love the entire cast and everybody But I'm just like get out of Janine's way But again the boyfriend. Oh my god Zach's in this one. Okay I'm so glad they finally brought Zach in when they show <laughs> I didn't know what to expect of his boyfriend, but it was not Zach. Zach is not, honestly, he was who nobody was expecting. Let's just be honest. He's a very interesting character. But anyways, when he was introduced, I was just in shock, but I'm in love with his character. He is so funny, the actor. I just really like him. So I'm so, so glad that he's gonna be in this episode. I really hope they bring him back as much as possible. Oh my God, Janine's boyfriend's here too. Why is she still with Tariq? Ugh. He has been waking up at 11.50 to get a jump on his day. So proud. When I move, you move. <laughs> Just like that. Found him hiding inside a trash bag. Almost threw him out. Kenny, why were you in a trash bag, baby? To the water zoo instead. You mean the aquarium? Not the water zoo. <laughs> and I blame real housewives. The kids watch with their mothers, and every season a new beast is created. Ooh. Don't bite me with your fake Gucci jacket. Oh! <laughs> They are watching Real Housewives. Meow, y'all. The zoo is a mecca for single dads. Better pick us in a Sunday brunch up in there. <laughs> they want me to do a whole tour, like every elementary school in New York. Tariq, this is incredible. We moving to New York, baby. <laughs> Wait, what? He doesn't actually think she's going. She literally has a career. That's the best neck I ever seen. Look. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Tariq. Like this. But this dance is called the Back It Up. I want y'all to take turns and have fun. <laughs> it's a lizard that arrived here at the zoo the same year I started teaching. Retire them. But oh. she's been here as long as I've been coming. Cycle of life. Uh oh. Oh, making her feel old. I just got this today. Oh, oh he's so cute. Don't leave, Janine. Stop it. I'm going to cry. There's skunk around here because my eyes are watering. Same. <laughs> I must be a skunk up in here. I just don't know if I have the energy for this anymore. This is too much. First of all, Barbara, you can't quit teaching. Like, you are literally the best teacher at this school. The minute you leave, shit hits the fan. Everything's gonna fall apart. Second of all, I know that Janine is incredibly loyal, but I really didn't expect her to actually, like, like even consider moving to New York with Tariq. Like, she can't leave that job. Like, she is doing such good things there, and she clearly loves it. Like, I'm, I'm shocked that she's really considering this. Wait, you're thinking about quitting teaching? Yeah, you know, none of these dinosaurs is actually <laughs> real, you know. I've been looking at some Tell apartments his ass to no. see the pricing, and whoa, buddy, can't swing that. Yeah. So, I've been looking at some really roomy closets and like Bushwick. Hell no. Wait, I think you're missing a kid. When I move, you move. <laughs> you're down one backup singer. That's supposed to have more bass in it. Oh God, Kenny's missing. Melissa, get zoo security to make an announcement. On it. Gregory, okay, Janine, check the zoo balloon in case Kenny goes airborne. Kids <laughs> love balloons. <laughs> true. See, what are they going to do without Barbara? The worst was 2005. A child by the name of August got lost in the Hershey factory looking for a chocolate river. <laughs> he really thought it was Willy Wonka's. Whatever it takes to keep you out of my hair. Sir, you are bald. <laughs> Kids are ruthless. Sir, you are bald. Who, who says something like that to somebody? God damn. To be fair, he was acting a mess, but oh my God, that was a little bit uncalled for. I knew she was going to say it too. Gregory, I found him. Oh, there he is. Too late, little lady. As the saying goes, once the gate's closed, it's away we go. Oh, hell no. You got to let people off. Oh, damn. She's scared of heights. Hey, could you let go of my hand, please? Oh, check that out. Oh, my God. One day I will pack it in, but today is not that day. Yeah. Tariq, I think our lives are going down different paths. Oh, she's gonna break up with him right there at the school field trip. I think we should take a break. Oh. What did that Kenny kid say to you in the balloon? <laughs> I knew he wasn't my dog. 
Oh, Tariq's about to cry. I feel bad because it's like, I don't hate Tariq. I just feel like he's awful for her in general. I don't think that they are a good match. I think she definitely needs a grown up to be with. Obviously it's gonna be Greg, like let's just be honest. Like I will be pretty shocked if they don't end up together at least for a period of time. But even if it's not Greg, like she just needs somebody mentally her age, you know? He's still stuck in like high school. Can I use that time to smash other people or no? Nah? Not right after I said he was not bad. Fuck him. He said, can I use that time to smash other people? That's what he said. That was his first thought after this long ass relationship that they've been in for like 10 plus years and they're finally breaking up. Fuck you, Tariq. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Go to New York. Don't come back, bitch. Bye. Bye. Bitch, bye. Never get with him again. Never get back with him. You've come a long way, Miss Teets. And I'm happy you're staying at Abbott. It's where you belong. I'm one of these great teachers. This is what I'm meant to do. I got like chills. I'm gonna cry and like shake. And She's I'm gonna crying. be fine. Oh my god, oh, I'm crying now. We all are. Tears in my eyes, Janine. Stop it. Dear Mr. Johnson, we know we couldn't go to the zoo because we didn't have signed permission slips. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Love ending. Are you joking, Mr. Johnson? Sincerely yours, the Abbott Elementary Breakfast Club. <laughs> that's trash. No, <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Johnson, don't be like that. Wow. That was it, y'all. That was it. What do we think? What do we think about the, the ending? I want you to comment down below. What did you think about the Janine Tariq breakup? Like, what did you think of the breakup itself? Did you expect Janine to do that? I did not expect her to break up with him that quick like that. Like, I did not expect that at all. That was definitely the most shocking thing to happen this season, in my opinion. Right next to Ava almost getting fired, which actually that wasn't shocking, but I was surprised that they pulled that through season one. Also, let me know what you think about Greg and Taylor and where that's going. Going? Do you think that they're gonna be together all next season? Do you think it's only gonna last a little bit of time? Does it seem serious to you? And when do you think Janine and Greg will get together if they ever do? Obviously, they have big plans for the show. They expect it to go on for a long time. So I'm not surprised that Janine and Greg didn't have like a, oh my God, moment. If they're really planning to have this thing go on for a while, they're gonna string it along. If there's anything like Jim and Pam, it's definitely gonna be strung along. And I don't think that we'll get them getting together until at least next season's finale. Because we had Janine was dating Tariq, Greg was available, and now it's switched because, you know, he has this relationship with Taylor all of a sudden and that should probably go on for another season and hopefully by the end of season two we'll get a good like real moment of them together but obviously the focus isn't on janine and and gregory but i mean it's a big part of the story that i'm invested in the school and everything i'm excited to see what goes on between like ava being the principal and Greg wanting to be the principal, like, is something gonna happen? I feel like nine seasons at some point, Ava's not gonna be <laughs> the principal anymore and Greg's gonna move in there and I'm sure, you know, Ava will go into a different role and still be on the show. Like, there's a lot of room for progression. Again, I just love this show. I love the writing. I love seeing what they're doing. I love, I love analyzing the show and making predictions on what's gonna happen. Obviously, it's kind of inspired by The Office and other mockumentary types of shows. And it's cool to see how they take that and put a twist on it. The the fact that they're at the school in general and just spreading awareness about all of that, like these underfunded schools, is just so important. And I love the stories, like this is truly something that has been ignored and it shouldn't be. And I'm so glad we're seeing this now. Quinta has just done an incredible, incredible job with the show and I will just forever praise her for the work that she has done here in love, in love with this. So. I'm so sad because now I have to wait for the next season. I think they're filming this summer, so <sighs> it'll be another almost a year. I'm just sad about it because I really enjoy watching this every week. I don't like the 13 episode seasons. I'm just going to say I don't like it. Obviously, I understand why shows do that, but I'm going to put it out there. We as the viewers need to try to push longer seasons, please. If any of the producers and showrunners on this show were watching this, please give us a 23 episode season. I'm sorry, like this was great for like the first season, but you gotta pump it up. I know it's probably not realistic. I feel like nowadays, like literally 13 episodes and we won't be happy with that. But like, I want to go back to the long seasons, you know, like even like, like a 20 episode, like, you know what I mean? Just give me more, like give me some more. <laughs> 
<laughs> I will be so happy if we get nine seasons. I really think it's possible. I think that they're gonna make it happen. They're already breaking records. There's no reason that it will not, you know? So that's exciting and something to look forward to. So yeah, that is it. The season's over. And that was my commentary on Abbott Elementary season one. We had two commentary videos. Make sure if you didn't watch the other one, you check it out. It'll be linked in the description. All right, that's all for today. So make sure you like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye! I'm going where it's gonna go.